Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be filming from my bedroom floor. Today's video is going to be my top five sad plants. We're going to be dishing the dirt on the plants I can't look after apparently. At number one, Peperomia crinkle ruby. So this guy always whenever i water him i've been bottom watering him top watering it just isn't happy every time i water i get these droopy leaves which eventually fall off but i've got two new down at the bottom here there are two new leaves coming in which will seem happy as larry but the rest of them I fully give up with this plant. I've had three of these in the past and I really wanted this one to work because it was so beautiful that it's fully just... So, um, that's the first plant that doesn't like me. Then we have plant number two. A plant that everyone says is easy. It doesn't need much light. The most basic house plant everyone can have. spider plant and when I tell you that every day a new leaf goes yellow there is I had three little babies there's four little babies in this pot and they were doing so well and now they're just not happy with me their roots their roots are good but yeah they just doesn't doesn't like me maybe it needs a repot I don't know, the soil's a bit. I'll repot that one and see if we can get a bit happier with that. But, the idea to have Annabelle with some hair isn't materialising anytime soon. My third plant doesn't live up to its name at all. It's a happy bean! Happy bean peperomia, which I blocked out in my June tour because of uh, this monstrosity. It just, mm, mm. this this guy just doesn't want to seem happy to keep happy. There's loads of babies coming off the stalk here, so I'm probably going to try and propagate those before I lose the entire plant because I can see the stem starting to rot. But um, I don't get it. The thing is, it started. There was four plants in this pot, and it started dying while I was at uni. So, I don't know what care it was being received while I was at uni, so I don't know whether it's been underwatered or overwatered. And so, I've just carried on with my watering schedule of I water every, every single one of my plants once a week, without fail. Um, and I'll go through, I'll put my finger in the soil, and if it's a bit damp, I won't water it as much. Um, that's served me well for literally every single one of my plants. When it comes to the summer, everything gets watered. I think it's on a Thursday I water my plants. Sometimes it's a Friday or a Saturday. <laughs> Depending on if their soils still look damp or whether I'm too lazy or not. Um, but this guy, just every single time I water it, it just... Can I see if I can get this? Oh god! I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get what it was that made it unhappy. Because I wasn't here to know. Hmm. Number four. My Philodendron Imperial Red. Which I am so sad about. Because I love my philodendrons. There is a fungus gnat. Away! Thank you. Um, my philodendrons and my monsteras are my favourites. Um, and this guy, I picked this plant up um, at a nursery in Norwich. And it was reduced. It was half price. I think it was £6. It had this big plant, which was, it was big. Um, I didn't take any photos, I don't think. Um, but it was big and it had two pups in the bottom of it. This mother plant was completely off to the side. Every single plant in the pot had root rot. 
So it was a case of, okay, I'm paying £6, I'll be able to bring it back from the dead. It's only root rot. Six months down the line, it's only root rot has ended me with only three leaves left on this one. I have a little one up there just sat in water. They were both sat in moss. That didn't revive any new roots. They've been, they were sat in moss for about three months? Four months? Um, the first one, the little baby, was sat in a little bag and trying to create some humidity that did nothing. This one's too big for a bag. Like, look, that's how big the leaf is compared to my head. Like, the, the leaves are so big. And it's just, oh, I don't want it to die. I've put this one, the stem, in the soil, hoping that it will survive. I don't know if it loses all its leaves at the moment this is the only good leaf left if it loses all of its leaves then you know we'll just have a little node i'm not sure where whether this is going to work really technically it should work um but i don't know Please just pray for me because I love this plant. When the leaves get really, really, like, when this one, before it turned bad, it was black. And when they first come in, they're like a sort of burgundy colour. And oh man. It just doesn't, it doesn't want to grow roots and it doesn't want to be happy. It makes me so sad. Because <laughs> it was so big and beautiful. The nursery did it dirty, I tell ya. Now we're on to my most pricey, number five in my um, sad plants. I'm looking at it over here. Um, it's quite big, so it's going to fill. You're not going to see much of it, but you'll see the bottom half of this palm. It is still about the same height as me, and I'm five foot eight. So it's a big plant and I spent so much money on it because I've never seen it in England before. It's one of those I've seen it online. The Americans have it everywhere. It's still up expensive in America I think. So I saw it in my local discount shop. <laughs> uh, I have a factory out there near me for plants because um, where I live is very agricultural um, and so there is a big factory near where I live and they ship out the plants that they supply to like Tesco's and Audi, all the big box stores. Um, the fact that this plant, please don't judge me, the plant was £52. I had a £10 off voucher because I go there so often that I have a loyalty card and I got £10 off. Um, so it ended up being £42. But £42 is still a lot of money for a plant to go wrong. So. This is my sister's discolour. Which, if I lift the pot up. Oh god, it's heavy. <laughs> you can see there's nothing on the bottom. You want to know why? It got scale. And so, this bad boy has not recuperated since. Um... It's had scale since I bought it. I'm I have tried to recuperate this plant so much. Um, the thing is, with Sissus's, they require quite a bit of sun, I think. Could be wrong on that one. Um, but they like humidity. So it's been sat in my house in a place where the humidity it's not going to get and the sun it's not going to get because it had scale. doesn't anymore. I'll Kind of just surviving with scale because I was like I'm not having the risk of any of my plants getting this. I have thrips a little while back while I was at uni and that was a nightmare to get rid of. I finally got rid of them all so I know now any new plant I bring in it goes into quarantine because my thrips came in on a plant from Lidl so everything gets quarantined now so this guy was in quarantine with scale and it was so bad like the damage on these leaves it was like that um like they haven't the colors all gone like it's not that <laughs> Every 
single one up here when I first bought it had leaves and it's just oh god it's just, it's, it's big leaved beautiness is just gone it's not that pretty plant anymore um what makes me really sad as well is I've tried to take cuttings I've tried all sorts of different methods of rooting those cuttings and they just turn into woody twigs because it is a vining plant these vines that it comes up on they just don't they just don't want to be propagated and I'm finding it really hard I don't want to do it injustice I this plant is so pretty I see pictures all over the internet of people's um, sisters in just these massive hanging baskets and they're all trailing down and they're gorgeous ideally I wouldn't want this one staked up I don't think it looks that pretty staked up um, it only looks pretty staked up if there's a, if it's a big bushy plant which this never was a big bushy plant but it did have more leaves than it does now um, I feel like at least once a week I'm losing leaves and it's just a battle I feel like I'm not winning well I'm definitely not winning because I just keep losing them I haven't seen any new leaves on this plant besides this one leaf and then it fell off oh, it's been through the ringer just look how Honestly, this just, <laughs> it's like a sparse Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, so this is my last plant. <laughs> Save the best till last, we can all have a joke. But Like that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get post notifications, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you next week.